guys hope you're all doing well welcome back to my channel in today's video I have created this clown inspired makeup I found on Pinterest last night and I have cut my hair very very short if you cannot tell and yes I am too lazy to finish my shoulders what is new so if you want to see how I got this clown makeup, then keep on watching. I'm starting off with my Benefit Professional Primer and just using that in my T-zone. And then I'm going into foundation and using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in the shade Golden Beige. And I'm just going to buff that out with a flat top brush from Exo Beauty. Hopping onto brows now, I'm just taking my Chi Chi Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown and I'm just doing my normal brow routine. I'm using my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer just to carve out underneath my brows just with a flat definer brush and then just using that to prime my eyelids as well for uh, eyeshadow. Just using my Studio Fix powder by MAC just to set my eyes and my whole face. To bronze up my face I'm using my Essence Sun Club bronzer. This is my favourite bronzer for when I'm tanned. And I'm just using that all over my face to give me some colour and definition. Taking my Saharan palette by Juvia's Place and I'm just taking that matte brown into my crease and bringing that down into my inner corner where my nose is just for some more definition and using this as my transition shade. I'm now taking the matte black from the palette and just using that on my outer corner and slowly blending that up into my crease and I'm going to bring it up to my eyebrow to give that triangle as my guide for when I go in with my liquid liner. Using my NARS concealer again to cut the crease for a lid shade and I'm going to go in with a bright yellow from my Kaleidoscope palette by Astralis.
I'm now taking my very well loved Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper. This was running out on me so I definitely have to pick a new one up. This is just a wee travel size I got on my Sephora order months and months ago and I'm just using that to create a wing on my eyelids as you can obviously see. Now taking the pink shade from the Australis palette and I'm just using that to buff under my eyes sort of in a triangle shape but as you can see in a moment I just put it everywhere under my eyes. I'm now just taking my Kat Von D tattoo liner to map out a triangle shape on my eyelid and as you can see in a moment I did not do this even but I did fix it up in the end when I noticed that I fucked up. And I hope you guys don't mind this music, I just typed in Halloween music on YouTube and this was just a mix of the most popular Halloween songs, so I really hope you guys enjoy this music. Um, I hope you don't mind if it's too shit, but I didn't know what music to put with this video. Sorry guys. I'm just using a black matte shadow just to set that liner in place even though it probably won't budge as it dries down anyway but I just wanted to make the black more intense and I'm just doing the same thing under my eye as well. It's a monster. As you saw before, I just used that Kat Von D tattoo liner to make the outline on the nose and just put some pink eyeshadow around that as well. 
and I'm now going in with that same liner it is nearly dried out so I am going onto my MAC black track liner and just using that on a synthetic eyeshadow brush just to fill in my lips So now on to the, I don't even know what you'd call this, the neck part I guess. Just going in with the same gel liner by MAC and just mapping out my wee stripes on my neck and I'm just doing this in fast forward motion as it's pretty self explanatory and pretty simple to do. Well not really, I actually struggled really hard doing this. It's not as easy as it looks guys. I'm now just taking that same pink shade that we have been using throughout this look and just using that to fill in the gaps on my neck. Now just taking the black shade from the Kaleidoscope palette to set the gel liner just so it doesn't move and if you're recreating this and wearing it out for Halloween you don't want the black to smudge and smear everywhere so it's good to set it with some black eyeshadow. And here is the finished makeup look guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I really hope you enjoy these sexy poses right now.